this because there's a really serious idea in the Jewish tradition that uh, parents can't raise children by themselves. That they actually need not only, yes, it's true, a baby nurse, I'm sorry. <laughs> needs a community of people that will support her and be there for her and hold the values of an ancient tradition and move it forward. So that's what we're here to do. And we actually can't do this without you. So we thank you for joining us today. There is a, a recognition uh, in this ceremony that um, Lily represents something completely new in the world. Before her, there was no one like her in the world. She is unique. And in that sense, we recognize that she has the potential of fulfilling the messianic dream. This is called Jewish pressure on a child. <laughs> but actually, we understand that Elijah shows up at very important moments in Jewish tradition. He shows up at every Passover Seder. And he shows up at every bris. By the way, the word bris doesn't mean circumcision, it means covenant. And that is why we are at a bris today as well. And so Barbara is sitting on the chair of Elijah as a symbolic representation that really represents potential beyond which we can possibly imagine, but all of which we have great hopes for. The ritual that we're about to do is a, is a new ritual based on an ancient text. It's called Greek Rechitza. It is a feet washing ceremony. One would imagine that if we were creating a, a new ritual, probably the bris, a boy's bris, wouldn't be something that we would dream up. I'm just saying that. It's <laughs> unlikely to, a, to be a 21st century ritual. But what it does contain is an interesting moment of, of anxiety for parents and um, a kind of contained and orchestrated danger for the child who um, survives that danger. And in a certain kind of way, it provides a constructive deflection from the real task at hand. If we had to imagine what it would be like to raise a child for 18 years without a baby in us, <laughs> it would be awesome and in some ways overwhelming. So in some ways the bris is an opportunity not only to set the stage for that by dis distracting us from the real issues at hand, but it's also to establish a bond between all of you and, and the baby. So we're not going to do anything dangerous to Lily today. And we're not even going to do anything that remotely looks dangerous. But we are going to try in a kind of funny way to get her to cry a little bit. And we're all, well, you see? This is what happens. Everybody bonds with the child. Of course, hates the rabbi. That's the bad part. But, but what we're going to do is welcome Lily into the Jewish people in exactly the same way that Abraham and Sarah welcomed their guests in the desert when they were approached by three men to tell them that they were going to have a child very late in their lives and very surprisingly. And the first thing that the text says to us in Genesis is that Abraham washed the, the visitors' feet because washing feet was a sign of welcome in the ancient Near East. Now if you get the water cold enough <laughs> and we and Lily's feet go in it, perhaps she will um, she'll cry, maybe, just for a second. And perhaps then you will all recognize your importance to this family and by that that collective concern that you express you will be saying to Stephen and to Kirk and to their family we're here for you we get it we feel um, the bumps in the road just like we feel the joy and blessing of today so I'm going to um, ask uh, Stephen's brothers, Andrew and Mark, to come forward on this side. And uh, Jackie, why don't you take off the socks? 
Sorry. Praise for you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who is mindful of the covenant. Praise are you, Hashem, our God, ruler of the universe, who is mindful of the covenant through the washing of feet. There are two parts to a covenantal ceremony. The first is the physical act, and now is the actual act of naming. Eloheinu v'lohel imoteinu kaimi et ha-yelda ha-zot la-aviha v'tikri'i shma v'yisrael devora sara bat shmuel Hodu l'adonai ki tov ki v'yavam chastov zot ha-ktana devora sara v'dola t'hiya v'shem sh'nekosa l'abrit hain t'kanais v'tara u'lachucha u'lema'asim tovim our God and God of our ancestors, sustain this child. Let her be called in Israel, Devorah Sarah Bat Shmuel. Give thanks to all that is godly. May this little one, Devorah Sarah, grow well. As she has entered into the covenant, so may she enter into a life of Torah, of loving relationships, and good deeds. And now Stephen will say a word about the significance of these names. Amen. Um. <laughs> so I, uh, I knew uh, the day was going to start off emotional when Susan, our baby nurse, who's <laughs> uh, been with us for six weeks and is leaving today, deflating her blow-up mattress, and I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly because I will miss her, but because I know what is to come. <laughs> um, thank you, Susan. Um, let me just for a moment take all this in. <laughs> so, thank you everyone for being here. Um, such an amazing journey that um, I remember five years ago I called my mom. I was walking down East 77th Street. I was in between appointments and I called my mom to say, you know, in five years you'll have a grandchild. And almost to the date, thank God, we have this beautiful uh, Lily Ariano or uh, the bottom of Sarah. And, um, I'm just so thankful and feel so blessed. And everyone here has been part of that journey. Um, in, I mean, I've shared just along the way and I mean, taking me to 